Hi, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics, and in this video, I'd like to put an assertion by a Tory MP to the test. They claim that they managed on a salary lower than some of the public sector workers striking without needing food banks. But his claims don't really stand up to much scrutiny. In fact, the absolute clown was talking complete nonsense, but it is important to be able to explain why. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So when I tackle disinformation, I tend to discuss general themes in my videos, and I'll, I'll allude to a couple of statements people may have made, but I think, I think we're seeing a significant rise in this disinformation campaign by the far right, and it may be worth me tackling individual elements in more detail. In other words, I may do more videos in 2023 when I focus in on individual statements or tweets, as is the case here. So the cost of living is so severe in the UK now that even skilled professionals are having to access food banks in increasing numbers. News like this is not great for the Tories who always claim there's no such thing as genuine poverty. I'm not kidding, that is actually their claim. If people can't afford the cost of living, they claim, it's because they're bad at budgeting. So we have a claim from the Fire Brigades Union that ordinary firefighters on just over £32,000 a year are forced to use food banks. Along comes Tory clown man to dispute the claim. One of the 2019 cohorts who are ideally placed for doing so. The problem with an MP dismissing food bank use is that they earn well above the median average. It looks crass to have an MP on £84,000 a year telling someone on £32,000 a year you need to be better at budgeting. So what you need is someone who had an ordinary, preferably public sector job recently, who can claim that they managed on an equal or lower salary without resorting to food banks. MPs who only became MPs in 2019 are perfect for the job. Enter Tory clown man in the guise of Brendan Clark Smith this time, one of the 2019 intake who says that he earned a lot less than £32,000 for most of his teaching career and never needed a food bank. Now, there are a few things to point out here. First of all, his claim to have earned less than £32,000 for most of his career seems to be ignoring the effects of inflation. Now, there's not a lot of information on Tory clown man's pre-political career on his Wikipedia page, but let's suppose he took the traditional route into teaching as I did, you know, did his A-levels, went to university, became a teacher. That would mean he'd have become a teacher in about 2002. His starting salary would have been just under £18,000 a year. But using the trusty Bank of England inflation calculator, that would be the equivalent of over £30,000 right now. In fact, over £30,500. That was his starting salary. So in today's terms, it would have taken him two years in the job. Actually, just over one year, because his second year salary would be over £32,000 a year in today's money. Now, that is an eye opener in itself. What we're saying here is that a teacher in their second year, so still a very inexperienced teacher, during Labour's second term in office, was earning as much as the average firefighter now in today's money. Now that tells you something about how Labour and the Conservatives value public sector workers. Also what the Tory pay squeezes have done to people's standard of living. So his claim is nonsense. It's absolutely nonsense from his... Unless he was on his first... <laughs> year's salary for all that time, which he was not. Um, it's absolute nonsense. He was not earning less than that for even one year of his career. He is completely ignoring the effects of inflation, either through ignorance or to be deliberately misleading. Either way, not the sort of person who should have been a teacher, in my view. But then there are two other problems with his assertion. Doesn't end there. First of all, Tory clown man has a wife who happens to be a doctor. So whatever his teaching salary was, and it was way higher than he was claiming, and yes, accepting the fact that in the early days when his pay was fine because he was a Labour government and he will have been covering it himself, later on, more recently, he wasn't dependent upon his salary alone. And it's not just that there was a second salary for his household, it's the salary of a doctor. Now, at the point at which he became an MP, he and his wife 
will, yes, have suffered real terms pay cuts as a result of his precious Tory party. But they would still have been earning way more together than a firefighter. The second issue, conveniently forgotten, is that the fire brigade union are not claiming that all firefighters on this average salary of about £32,000 a year are using food banks. They're saying that many are. Tory clown man lives in Nottinghamshire. Now, this is not the cheapest part of the country to live, but it is far, far away from one of the expensive parts. The most expensive parts of the country tend to be around the South East and, of course, London. It is likely that firefighters accessing food banks are disproportionately living in these very expensive areas. So what we have from Tory clown man here is a false claim about their own salary in their prior career because he's failing to take into account inflation. He's failing to own up to the fact that he did not have to manage the bills alone, as some firefighters do. He's also failing to acknowledge that maybe, just maybe, he is not living in the most expensive part of the country. But the Tory lies must be upheld that there is no such thing as poverty, only it's complete bollocks. But there we are, those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.